this initiative is very passionate to, uh, for me. Uh, for the last two years, I've been I've been um, brainstorming as to how we can do this. Uh, when you're uh, executing projects in Ghana, you have to be very deliberate and detailed. So for the last two years, we've been working uh, uh, patiently, working towards this day. Uh, and uh, over the last six months, we've heavily um, uh, invested and we've heavily um, focused on making sure that we get this done, uh, but at least by December, because we understand how important it is. Uh, for me personally, as a, as a software engineer, um, I see the changing landscape in technology. Um, I've become very aware that uh, we're, at, we're now moving into a new phase uh, in, the in the technology space, which is artificial intelligence. And I believe that uh, Ghanaians can harness the education into artificial intelligence to close the gap between countries like Ghana and even the United States. Uh, it gives us the best opportunity to leapfrog that gap that, uh, that's been created. And I believe that if we invest in, uh, in these types of programs and in these students, uh, they will grow, they will learn, they will create jobs uh, using their entrepreneurial spirit. And that will cascade to all other industries, which hopefully will uplift Ghanaians and uh, the standard of living for most. So, so in Kwanzaa was a very, uh, is a very special place for me. Uh, that's where my father is from. That's where my grandparents are from. Um, so it, it, it meant a lot to kind of take care of my home uh, before I uh, expanded. I wanted to make sure that uh, an Nkranza was, as, as my home, was taken care of. And when it comes to a before, um, my family's had ties to this city for over 27 years, and it only felt right that uh, the first two labs that we opened uh, be in the places that have meant so much uh, to myself and my family.